Okay, today, um, first of all, thank you, family, for everybody showing up uh, uh, that is uh, watching this video. I really appreciate you all. I thank you and uh, enjoy calling you family. I have over 100 subscribers now. I know it don't sound like much, but it is um, when you are. It's a milestone for me. So I thank you all for uh, subscribing and being a part of my family. But today... Um, like all my videos, they are pretty easy, pretty simple, cost effective, and uh, don't take a lot of time to do them. So this too is very easy. As you see um, before you, and if you're interested in this, um, watch my video and see if this is something that you would like to do. Uh, but before you, you see the glue, glitter, and gold chargers. Um, I'm going to glitterify those chargers so that they could be beautiful sitting on your tablescape. Um, so stick around and see what I'm about to do. Um, do become a, do become a subscriber. Um, uh, comment on what you think about this. Like share and press that bell so that you'll be notified on all the things that I do in the future. So hold on family. Here we go. But we're gonna use the glue and all of these are the Dollar Tree items except for the glitter. But you can get glitter from the Dollar Tree too. Um this glue is from the Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar. We're gonna use that. This glitter came from Walmart. You can also find it at Michael's, uh, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby's, and other craft stores, possibly. But um, I like this. It's extra fine, and that's what makes it so pretty, that it's extra fine glitter. Um, I bought the chargers. I bought four of them. Um, I bought these at Michael's. They were on sale. Um... Half price there, one ninety nine, and I bought them for a dollar piece. So I bought four of them, and uh, now I'm gonna show you what I did, okay, or what I'm about to do. Okay, the one thing I did leave off was a brush. You're gonna need a brush. So this is how I started. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you notice that uh. I glittered a Eiffel Tower in gold. And uh, this is pretty much the same way I did that Eiffel Tower. If I can get the glue to come out. Okay, here we go. So, um, once again, you want to be somewhat generous, not too generous. You don't want it running. You want it where uh, the glitter stick. And so I am going to the very edge of the plate and coming out. The inner edge of the plate. Because I don't want to do the inside. But you could do the inside because uh, it's all up to you. I keep saying that to everybody. You do stuff according to you. You don't do stuff according to me or anyone else. These are all ideas and what we think. And uh, who's to say that yours ain't a better idea? And I'm doing this in sections because uh, I have to turn the plate, and so it don't and the glue uh, also dries pretty fast. So you want to be on that, and so I take the glitter, just sprinkle it on. I want to cover all the areas that I have put the glue down.
And I actually have it on one of those little uh, boards that you get from the Dollar Tree. You can use a uh, newspaper or cardboard to, to do this project on. It doesn't matter. But you want something to catch the extra glitter on. So when you shake it, uh, you save your glitter. So I'm going to turn it a little bit more. Whoop. Okay, sorry about that. And I'm going to add more glue. So if you see any kind of, you know, it's be good to wipe it down. I should have did that, but it's a new plate and it's never been used before. I actually got it straight out the bag. So sometimes it'd be little stuff floating around or but any debris, try to get it out your way. Because you don't want it caught in with your glitter. And then you'll be wondering, what the heck is that? Okay, more glitter. Okay, and I'm going to let this sit for a minute. Um, once I do all the way around the edge of it, So I want it to, uh, I want the um, glitter to sit and dry with the glue. So it doesn't take this glue that long, but I have it on pretty thick. So it's I'm going to give it about an hour, maybe two, to make sure it's dry, dry before I uh, shake the extra glitter off. And then once that's dry, uh, I can look at it and see where I'm going to need any extra glitter, if any. Um, I really haven't been doing much gold. I really like silver, but hey, this is kind of rubbing off on me now. But the silver is my my go-to thing. I can't lie about that. Okay, we're going to put more glitter on. Yeah, be generous with the glitter. Because you want to cover everything.
you may see some little puckering um from the glitter but i mean from the glue but don't let that stop you because once the glue um dries it kind of settle down so you ain't have to worry about that little puckering that you're going to see but you're definitely going to see some Because if you put it on too thin, uh, you'll be doing this all day. You'll be putting glitter on it again and again and again and again. So, you know, glue, glitter, glue, glitter. So, you want to be generous, but not too generous with the glue. But you want to be generous with the uh, glitter. Now, once this dry, uh, and I have the glitter all over the plate like I wanted, the charger, rather, um, like I wanted, I, um, uh, I then put a second coat of glitter, excuse me, a second coat of glue on top of it to seal it. I've also heard that spray paint, spray paint, I'm sorry, yeah, clear spray paint, you can use that, but I've tried that in the past and it didn't work out very well. Uh, I've also heard that you can use uh, hairspray. Uh, I haven't tried that, but I do know this glue works great in sealing this glitter and you don't have to worry about it going everywhere. It really dries well. I recommend it highly. Okay, I had to answer my door, and you heard my dog barking, but I'm back, and I'm going to put this coat on of glitter. Like I said, don't, you know, be generous with it. Okay, I started on the second plate, as you can see. Uh, I just got to do the other half of it. So I just wanted you guys to see uh, that it's turning out well. All right, here I go again. 
Okay, fam, I've done all four plates. I've glittered them out. And I'm letting them dry now. So the next time you see them, they will have the second coat of uh, glitter on top. And be placed where I want to place them. And uh, tell me what you think about them. All right. All right. Okay, fam. Uh, do subscribe, comment, uh, like, and share my uh, video. Um, also, ring that bell so that you can be notified on all my uh, future uh, projects. So, I hope you guys like this, and I hope you see how easy it is to make these things. You do what you want to do. If you got a blue, get you some blue glitter and glitter them bad boys out red. Whatever color you got, you can you can do this. No problem. But the next time you see them, they'll be in their state of glory and how I want them set on my table. So, all right, fam. That's it. Thank you for your time. Love you much. Shalom.